This is part six of the Mopar voltage uh, meter install from an ammeter. Okay, um, by request, when I'm doing the voltmeter installation, did a little research as to where I'm going to hook up my voltmeter, and I realized that I don't want it on. Uh, you know, kill the battery if you had it on while the key was off, obviously. You don't need it on when the accessory is on. So the only time you really want it on is when your ignition is in the on position. So I did a little chart with uh, the ignition switch, which is uh, this baby right here. And I have the book over here. So I did some tracing out. But... Part of the switch, the ignition one uh, and the battery are connected, or ignition one and battery right here. There's an X, and that is the X is my mark for in the on position. Hope that makes sense. But this X here, when the key was in the on position, was closed, or so. So battery and ignition one. So that's the source I want, ignition one. If I come over here in my book, and I have this right here is ignition one. It's two wires coming off of it. This first wire actually goes out and it goes into this bulkhead connector which goes into the engine compartment. So this whole thing, is the instrument panel wiring. So this whole two-pager here. So getting back to this, so it's the other wire. Where does that one go? So it's uh, G5 18 uh, DBL with the, with the uh, asterisk on it. And an asterisk means there's a tracer. So it's so it's blue with a with a tracer. So I follow it all down. And it comes up, and actually ends up right, right where my markers are here. The G518 DBL with a marker. So this is this is the plug that plugs into the back of the instrument cluster. So I am going to tie into this wire right here. I'm going to strip off the the uh, the outer jacket, and I'm going to. I think what I'll do is I will um, just strip off the plastic. I have bare copper there, and I am going to uh, solder a wire on here that is going to go to the back of my volt, my new voltmeter. Hope that makes sense. All right, that's the end result. Um, I. I spread open the strands of the blue wire and I poke the yellow wire through the middle of those strands and then I wrapped it around. So it's got a physical and uh, and also the uh, solder is holding it together. So that's a very strong point. And also, just to uh, let you know, use some flux on it, melt that good. And then I've got a very thin uh, solder here. It's very nice. Didn't really see what size it is, but it's a very, it's quite a, th a thin wire, uh, solder. Works very good. It's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Um, I tried to get as much detail as I could in there so a beginner could possibly do it. I, I know it might, might be a little over uh, beginner's uh, level of doing this, but really not that hard so yeah like I say I hope you enjoyed it please like it if uh, or hit the like if you did like it and subscribe if you want to see uh, some more videos so uh, that's all for me today it's David retire ready talk to you later